What's up guys, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. The girl back there totally wants to cut in on this video and snipe it, but it's my video, so I'm doing it here. Uh, on the topic of Kane, so for those who don't know, there's a bit of a controversy with Kane. Basically, it seems like his 60 procs a lot in PvP for a 30% chance. Um, 30%, it's, it's higher than it seems, you know. Because like, it's almost a 1 in 3 chance whenever a healing effect goes off. But it seems to proc, like, honestly, I was convinced it was like 50%. But basically, for those who don't know, he's passive. He gets his buff called Untamed Nature. Gives a multi-strike and counter-attack 80% chance for a couple turns. And a stacking attack debuff. And it also, once you get to his 60... Inflicts 50% additional damage when attacking support enemies and also gives them a damage shield that basically absorbs damage as healing and 100% chance to decrease attacker's recovery amount. So if Kane's proccing this, it can get pretty ridiculous fighting him in PvP. So a lot of people have called for a nerf. I personally do not want to see a nerf, but I do admit that there are... Uh, issues with Kane and there there do need to be some tweaks. I'm just I'm against nerfs just in general for the most part because I don't want to see a character get nerfed and over nerfed into oblivion as I've seen with a lot of games, especially early on in their lives. And as you notice here, if you look at like all the top teams, be a little little thing here. They're all running uh Ramu and Rue, if you notice. And usually there's a cane there too. Like we'll go look at the top teams. So obviously people are using, especially the top players, they're using all the effective characters for the most part, you know. But so the issue with PvP right now is people are running the most effective combos and the most effective combos are usually the revive heavy meta teams. And Kane is a direct counter to that. Uh, not directly against the revive per se, but against the healing. He stops the healing, he deals good damage. You know, he can, he can be a bit of a pill. So let's go ahead and get in the match here. I'll just keep talking through it. So what happens with Kane is... He procs this on a healing effect that goes off on the other team, I want to say. But I'm not completely sure about that. It might be a healing effect on your team. But it's probably a healing effect on another team. We'll try to judge it here. I'll do a random battle, so... They got a cane, I got a cane. They're both standing opposite each other. So what I've tended to notice is it seems like a lot of the double attacks on multi-strikes and a lot of the three-person attacks, if you don't directly target cane, seem to hit cane. And I've asked other people if they've seen that, and a lot of people are saying that as well. So the issue is, like you see there, I didn't even do anything. And that went off on a regen tick, either from... Her uh, passive 60 there, that's Abel, that's a guy, I always forget Abel's a guy. His passive 60 or uh, the regen on his runes. So there's one thing I think that they could use to make Kane a bit more manageable. Regen from runes should not trigger, trigger Kane's ultimate, because that's a little ridiculous. That's like passive regen, you're not even doing anything. So I don't think that should, that's something they should, they should uh, not proc that skill on my opinion, because if that hadn't happened, I was going to hit him with Saya's pillow and reset all his cooldowns and hit him pretty hard. But as it stands, now I basically have to go over here and hit Ramu. So watch, watch how... We're going to keep an eye. So you see how it procced again? He's already up to... Three stacks on his attack increase, and he has a shield again. Literally, right after he already went. That is one of the most depressing things, is just... Maybe you have a uh, turn order right now where you want to go on him. And right when he, his, his uh, damage shield is gone, boop! Right back up. That's annoying. I think there should be a little cooldown on that as well. At least... Three turns after... And I'm not talking about three full turns, I'm talking about like three turns up here, like three characters go, whichever team they're on. And then Kane can proc that again, because there needs to be opportunities to DPS him, because sometimes there just aren't. And it gets a little annoying. And there's his counter, because obviously he's countering plus 80%. So, I managed to put the Ramu to sleep here. Uh, see if we can capitalize. 
So once again, I proc two more times there between two characters. I think that was Ramu's turn, so since since she's asleep, I go ahead. Well, we'll just play it out here. Let's see. So as you can see, the double attack went to Kane. There goes another stack on his. Mine's up as well, although my stacks aren't quite as high as his. Yeah. Retarget. There goes your girl, Esnar. So basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to keep CC'd. Because even if Ghost Girl was up, she was dead there no matter what. So right now, you see, his 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 attack buff stuff is still up, but... Mine's only gone off twice, his has gone off five times. Actually, mine's gone off once. His has gone off five times. I have a lot more healing on my team, but... Ruby has passive healing, Ramu heals, Ramu's been uh, CC'd a little bit so far. And as you can see, my team's basically getting destroyed here, so... Even if I manage to get Ramu down. Yeah, she's gonna come back up. So most likely I've lost this battle, but... So you can see how effective Kane can be. One of the things I would say that they should potentially change is, uh... Like I said, maybe add a slight cooldown to the reactivation, like three turns in PvP, if that's possible to program. Another thing would be, do not do not let regen runes proc it. And then that way, Kane's still as effective as he can be in PvE without sacrificing too much uh, PvP usefulness. I think that would be appropriate if you're going to nerf Kane. What I would rather see is put more characters in that are counters to Kane. Maybe not hard counters like Ruby, but you know characters that they can either remove buffs... Or there can be some way, some mechanic to deal with uh, shields that absorb HP. Like, for instance, give a skill that almost heals the enemy team that you can use offensively. That will maybe either do damage or be blocked once and then dispel that. And, of course, if you have a poison effect up, it'll do some damage to them. Because poison's pretty hard to keep up in most cases. Um... And it, it looks like they're taking steps towards that, because one of the characters that I saw that's coming out in the patch uh, has a remove debuff. So that, that, or a remove buff, rather. That's the type of thing I want to see. When Rue hits him, Rue has a chance to remove it. Uh, Karen as well, although Karen and Rue... Rue's a lot more tankier than Karen. Karen gets rocked by Kane pretty hard. So, other than that, but I do not want to see Kane buff, debuff too much, because... I've seen a lot of games where people complain about a meta character and then they get nerfed into oblivion and no one ever uses them again. And that's sad. We don't want that, especially for all of us out there that have pulled Kane. We would like to see, you know, Kane still be useful, but just be adjusted, maybe. Or have more countermeasures in place other than Ruby and Rue, etc. So. Anyway, guys, that's my opinion. Also, I'm floating the theory, maybe multi strike. There might be something going on with the way Kane's programmed to where Multi-Strike seems to hit him the second time when you're not targeting him. A higher percentage than it's supposed to. Uh, go ahead and, you know, tell me in the comments if you notice that as well. I don't know, that might be a thing with the way that his ultimate is, uh, is programmed. Maybe it, inadvert it inadvertently affects Multi-Strike somehow in PvP. But, you know, that's just a theory. I got no hard proof of that, so... Would like to see your guys' observations on that. So hopefully uh, the Kane situation will be resolved without him being over nerfed. And yeah, guys, so this is the Kane video. I'll catch you later. Peace out.